Hey guys, welcome to another video and we're back in 0.60 because it's been pushed to experimental gain and the servers seem a lot more stable. So let's have a look at the new buildings. First we can have a look at the factories because we've had two industrial buildings added into the game. This is the first, it's a two-story warehouse. It's a sizable structure. It sticks out. It's the, the skin is lighter than a lot of the factory buildings. And I think there are like three in Cherno. In fact, they're all over the map. You can see here it's got um, an interesting layout down downstairs. You've got these platforms. Maybe machinery was here. And you've got two ways up. You can go up the ladder, which we saw just then. Or you can go up these stairs. Leads to this platform area, maybe where... They would have had some office space or some more storage space here, looking over the workers below. And then something that's really nice is you can climb another ladder and go up to the next platform, which is above that area there. Maybe this is where the office would have been looking down. Get a better view. Not exactly sure what's going on there. And then a nice little touch is you can climb through one of the windows onto the corrugated iron roof. You can see here and get a good look at maybe some sniping spots. Another building is one that already existed, but they've opened it up. As they do sometimes with these buildings, you can now go in this one. It's just a big, plain space. Perhaps the most interesting thing, though, about this building is it's part of um, a platform there where the silos are and some ladders leading up to that area. And is connected there but before we used to hide behind these windows or climb on them to get shots down on people now you can't do that you'll just fall through the broken glass which I think looks pretty impressive let's move on to the military base this is where lots of the new buildings are this is the new headquarters command center it only appears in the Tizzy military base this is the Tizzy military base so all the buildings you see now are located there. I don't know whether they're going to expand them out into other military bases. This is the, the most interesting part of the base. It's a air raid shelter of some sort. You've got these big doors. These doors are new to the game. They've got these Mercedes-Benz handles here. And you can't go any further than that there. But there is this small complex underground where you've got some rooms. It looks pretty dingy. Not much furniture, unfortunately. You've got some stuff scattered across the floor. Maybe they'll introduce some furniture into this space. You've got a couple of rooms. A potential um, firefighting locations. Maybe people holding us down. And you can carry on. There's another room here you can go through. Overall, this is a really positive thing to see. I mean, it really is a great thing to have, the fact that they're expanding this down into these kind of secretive locations. And I think it adds something to the game. I personally think that this is the right direction. That's the kind of bunker. That's attached to the main building. If we look here, this uh, is a similar design to the camo building. Got the same look, scattered furniture and a complex of rooms. Now, these are um, surrounded by these large windows, so they're not very secure. I found some items of clothing in this room, and uh, I think that's, actually, that's quite surprising. Maybe they'll introduce more loot into this location. I don't know. One of the things about this space is all the rooms are open, so there won't be any glitching, as far as I'm aware, in this space. Maybe that's part of the reason why it was designed this way. You can get into every single room and have a look out. I think this is quite a difficult space to defend. You're quite vulnerable with all these windows. And I don't necessarily imagine a huge amount going on here. There is... Um, we'll move on to the roof. Now, the roof space does look out across the new Tizzy military base. So... I guess there's, there's some good options for sniping, but the hills around also give you a fairly good vantage onto the 
top of this roof. This is a new lookout tower, metal design, I think it looks really cool. Again, you're quite vulnerable, lots of windows, although there isn't anything higher than this around, so that's not a bad sniping location, but you're vulnerable stuck up there. This is another building, it's some kind of factory, I think, military factory, maybe where they make bullets. Uh, I like the layout of this, I like the look of it, but you can't get in at the moment, the doors don't seem to work. It looks like all the interiors are ready to be explored, but um, the ladder and the doors didn't work on for this room. They're just holding that one off, maybe it's not quite ready yet inside. I should imagine that will be opened up though, next update. And then there are a series of um, freestanding buildings around look like vents maybe implying that there's a larger underground network here and then these these kind of monolith buildings with these big fans uh, maybe this is part of the shooting range here you can't climb these ladders unfortunately I, I really like these structures I think they look really cool all the wood work inside there kind of degrading and then the last new structures we're going to look at are these missile platforms really like these buildings they kind of loom out of this forest area and I think they look really impressive the only thing for me is why would you go up here I guess you could snipe but again there's only one way up so you're pretty vulnerable these long platforms you have to come down you can't jump off because of these fences either side so I don't know whether they're going to be used at all I think they've got to think about how they can become part of the game and um, maybe some rewards some treasure some loot up the top there that you could run up and get make it more of a target so guys they're the new buildings in 0.60 I hope you found this useful if you've got any questions, add them down below. Um, if you've seen any new buildings that I've missed off here, then please let me know and I'll feature those in another video. Don't forget that I've also done some updates for the new layout to the main cities in um, Chernus. Uh, we have Cherno, you can click here for the link, it's on the screen. And then we also have the changes to Electro and the link Again, is on the screen. These are tours, discussions about the new cities. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.